Hello my friends all over the world wherever you are William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation and today I'm going to make some citrus juice now I honestly don't know what these are I suspect this is a pink grapefruit these might be oranges and we'll be able to tell what they are after I peel them let me show you the next step now the first thing I do with citrus is peel them now you could press it without peeling if you wash the skin thoroughly but I never know how clean they are so I peel all of my citrus now this one looks like an orange so we'll peel this all the way cut off the rind now my wife says these are all oranges but this one looks like a pink grapefruit yes I'm right it is a pink grapefruit so I'm going to continue peeling all of these citrus. I want to make sure to cut all of the dirt out of this because I don't want to contaminate my citrus juice. And this one is probably an orange. It looks like an orange. Yes, it's an orange. I like pink grapefruits rather than the regular ones because they're a little bit sweeter. Alright, so I'm going to throw away this peeling and then we'll press the oranges and the pink grapefruit into juice. Now I keep all of my juice cloths for fruit separate in the freezer. And this bag is specifically for orange juice or citrus juice. And the first thing I'm going to do is separate them and then line each cloth with a bamboo liner. And the reason we line with a bamboo liner is to prevent the pulp from sticking to the cloth and we'll line each cloth with a bamboo liner. Let's do the pink grapefruit first. That's the largest of them. Fold it in thirds like so in both directions. Now with citrus you can push it down a little bit. We want to make as tight a package as we can. And these citrus are too large to put two packets at one time in the juicer, so we'll press one at a time. And make sure the juice tray is on the press plate properly. The citrus in the package goes right in the center, centered left to right. Very important to center this, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off a little bit. And as soon as I get juice full, I'll advance that all the way. Let's repackage this with another piece of citrus. I'm going to repackage this with another citrus, an orange this time. Unfold the bamboo liner. Put one of these large oranges in there and fold it over again just like we did for the grapefruit. Now I notice my bamboo liners are bursting at the corners a little. That's pretty typical. But we're using a bamboo liner to minimize the pulp sticking to the cloth. Okay, into the press we're going to go again. Very important to be in the center. Centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back. Back it off a little bit. And we'll turn the machine off and put in another orange. Open this up and put another orange in and continue until we're done with all the citrus. Fold that over again just as we did before. Fold the cloth over the bamboo. Flatten that a bit. And fold it in thirds in both directions and into the press it will go. Again check to make sure it's on the press plate properly. Centered left to right. Centered front to back. All the way back. Back it off a little bit. And again, we'll package the last orange. Now this pad is getting very, very thick, but I think it will be okay. We're going to put our last orange in here. Open up the bamboo liner. Put the orange in, flatten it a bit. Fold the bamboo liner over the citrus. I think if we did more than three or four citruses, we'd have to use a new bamboo liner because it's bursting at the corners. So pull it into as tight a package as you can and into the press. Centered left to right, centered front to back. Make sure it's on the press plate properly all the way back. Back it off a little bit. And as soon as you get juice flow, advance that all the way. Now you can leave 
this up as long as you have a steady juice flow. When it turns the droplets, you back it off. There it goes, droplets. Now I'm going to show you with a measuring beaker that we can get about 10% more juice by forming this into a tight package and pressing again because we're using a whole health foundation model juicer with this solid bottom plate and many other premium parts. Now here we have 18 ounces of juice and let's hope we get 1.8 ounces more and what we're going to do with this is remove it and you can see it burst at the corners a little. We're going to form that into as tight a package as we can make and press it again. Now I want you to watch my folding technique. I'm going to fold this under two or three or four times as many times as I can and then do that in both directions. And then we're going to press it again. Let's see if we can get any more juice out of this. Now this last squeeze on citrus is like syrup. It's very, very thick. We'll advance that all the way. Now there's about two and a half ounces. Right, as you can see, I have about 16 ounces of citrus juice, mostly oranges, and one large pink grapefruit, and enough here for a taste test. So let's do a taste test. Before I do my taste test, I'm going to throw away this citrus pulp and scrub the cloth with cold water to get any pulp on there off. The bamboo liner bursts at the corner, so I need to scrub off that pulp before we fold the cloth, press the water out, and put it back in the freezer. There we go. Now we'll fold this in thirds just like they came in the package, press the water out, and put them in the freezer. And the reason we do this in the freezer is germs and airborne contaminants cannot grow in the freezer. Alright, we'll put the washed cloth in the press, press the water out, and then put it in the freezer. And the last step is always to clean this upper plate all the way around as well as on the bottom. And I can see some pink from the grapefruit here. You probably can't see it in the camera. But we'll clean on the side plate as well, and then we'll do a taste test. So here we have pure citrus juice, one large pink grapefruit, three large oranges. Let's give it a taste. Oh, this is delicious. It's got a hint of the pink grapefruit. It kind of overpowers the orange juice but very, very delicious. Well, my friends, I hope you like what you've seen. If you do, please tell a friend. If you'd like to telephone me to buy a juicer or get parts or accessories, give me a phone call at 760-753-0321 or email me at developtrust at cox.net. And if you'd like to visit my webpage, it's wholehealthbound.com. I'll see you in the next video.